हेलो बच्चो हेयर द क्वेश्चन सीज दैट ए लॉन्ग सॉलिनॉइड ऑफ रेडियस टू सेंटीमीटर हैज हंड्रेड टर्न पर सेंटीमीटर एंड कैरीज ए करेंट ऑफ फाइव एम्पियर ए कॉयल ऑफ रेडियस वन सेंटीमीटर हैविंग हंड्रेड टर्न एंड ए टोटल रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी ओम इज प्लेस्ड इन साइड द सॉलिनॉइड को एक्चुअली द कॉयल इज कनेक्टेड टू ए गैलवेनोमीटर इफ द करेंट इन द सॉलिनॉइड इज रिवर्सड इन डिरेक्शन फाइंड द चार्ज ऑफ लोन थ्रू द galvanometer so what is the formula for magnetic field within a long solenoid that is equals to b equals to mu not n i where mu not is the permeability constant n is the number of turns of the solenoid per meter and i is current in ampere so n that is given as 100 turns per centimeter m that is given as 100 turns per centimeter that is equals to 10 that is equals to 10 to the power 4 turns per meter and i that is given as 5 ampere so putting the values in b we get that b equals to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 which is the value of permeability constant and 10 to the power 4 multiplied by 5 that is we get 20 pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 which is equals to 62.8 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 tesla now for the second coil we have number of turns into that is equals to 100 turns Now radius of the second coil that is equals to ten to the power minus two meter, and resistance R that is equals to twenty ohm. Sorry. And resistance R, which is equals to twenty ohm. now the flux linking per turn of the second coil that will be equals to b into area and area we have pi into 10 to the power minus 2 square which is equals to b pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 we have the value of b here and that will be the flux per unit turn now the total flux that will be this value multiplied by n2 that will give us the total flux so n2 multiplied by b pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 4 and that will give us b pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 So the final flux phi two that is equals to minus phi one as the current is reversed. Now d phi that is equals to phi two minus phi one and which is equals to two multiplied by pi into ten to the power minus two multiplied by b. Now the EMF induced that is equals to d phi dt and which is equals to 2 pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 multiplied by b by dt. We don't know the time yet. And current we get from Ohm's law that is equals to E by R, and that we get pi into 10 to the power minus 2 into b by dt into R, and we know the value of R, and that is 20. and q that is equals to i multiplied by dt which is equals to 2 pi multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 multiplied by b by 20 dt multiplied by dt and putting the value of b here we will get the answer nearing 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 coulomb Hope you all understood the problem.